everybody. Here I am with, oh, this is, this is Einstein. He's our new adopted dog. Hi, buddy. Hi, good boy. Yes, he's Jojo, good boy. Oh, and Dipper and Honey Bunny as well. Einstein. We got him from this really great shelter. Um, it's out of Moab, Utah. It's the underdog animal shelter. They do a lot of really, really good work with dogs and they rescue all sorts and all of that kind of fun stuff. So today I'm going to do a really, really fast video because I haven't posted for a while and I've been going all over the place. I've been down to Texas and up into North Dakota and Wyoming and all of this kind of just all over the place um, for my job. Anyway, so I'm going to show you today how I layer vinyl. It's super easy and I wish I would have known about this so long ago <laughs> and I saw it on Facebook and I cannot remember the lady's name that said use, I apparently have a small child instead of an 11 year old. He's back there crying like a baby, like literally wang. Anyhow, I'm off track. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to switch over to my iPad. This is on my phone because I cannot hold Einstein on my lap. He's about a hundred pounds of just pure muscle. Anyhow, switch to the iPad. Be right back for a minute. Um, just a few quick tips on doing this. So this is the back layer. Um, I've already created this. I use the app Fonto and it will give you this background. Um, and then you can do the letters over the top of it. So tape it down. I'm just using a little bit of extra transfer tape, all four corners, and then get your sticker onto your transfer tape. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it, you just kind of stick, I have it a little bit hanging off over the edge so you can kind of do one of these numbers and stick it down where you want it to go. Oh, look at, I, I am so close. It's not even funny. I'm so amazing. I'm just the best ever. No, that's a lie. There's so many talented people that do this. It's insane. <laughs> Me, this has been a trial by error. I've been doing this for a year and a half now and I'm still learning tricks. Okay, so now I'm definitely going to transfer over to the iPad so I can have my hands free to do this and get it lined up. All right, I'm going to attempt to do this where my hands are not in the way so you can see what I'm doing. I need like a GoPro or something to put on my head, but those are expensive. And if you're like me, you're not made of money and I'm not making any money on these. Oh. Quick thing about these, I'm using the Cricut vinyl. I'm putting it on a cup. So I will use the Cricut removable vinyl for cups because it's going under epoxy and it, you know, doesn't matter as much because I don't have to worry that the weather's going to get to it and whatnot. So um, I have found that when you're cutting thin letters like this, if you can, yes, okay, it's still in frame. Sorry. <laughs> um, the Cricut removable vinyl cuts that so much better than the permanent vinyl will. It's. It's not here. <laughs> Sorry. <Aww. laughs> I don't, I'm not even going to try and edit that out. That's too funny. <laughs> in case. <laughs> didn't hear the dog apparently <laughs> crapped in the bedroom so I gotta go clean it up I'll be right back. okay <laughs> that's taken care of uh it's always an adventure around our household never boring never boring all right so I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it you just, because you can see through the parchment paper, you know, and I just get the cheap stuff from Walmart or even the dollar store, wherever, because you're just going to be throwing it away. 
Obviously, we're not baking cookies on it. And so the night, the, um, you leave the little bit over the edge so you can stick it down when you get it where you want it. And you're not worried about this part, you know, the, the darker part sticking to the background. Oh, there's fingerprints on it. That's the one thing about holographic vinyl, like fingerprints, ugh. It's fine, I'm get them off. Okay, so we get it where we want it. And yep, that looks good to me. And you just make sure it's stuck down good or even just at the top. Cause obviously you're gonna have to do this. Ah, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I got it. I got it handled. Oh, well, now I've moved it. Oh, no. It's still good. Then you just peel up on the parchment paper. Oh, no. Stay stuck where I wanted you. Okay. Oh, hi, Einstein. I do not generally let the dogs around the craft area because, you know, I wouldn't want to get dog hair or cat hair in the epoxy and then give it to somebody. Oh, what if they had an allergy or something? Anyhow, so then you just, that's good. And then you just keep peeling it off and it should peel fairly easy. Let's see, I, the, that bubbled a little bit, which it's, it's fine. This is just for an example, this is, going on a cup, but I may not put it on a cup because that part, the vinyl wrinkled on the mat and sometimes then it doesn't cut right. Anyhow, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> like that one time I got married. <sighs> okay. Nothing against marriage. Marriage is a beautiful institution if you marry the right person. Just keep peeling down. Oh, glitter. There's glitter everywhere. It will never go away. Oh, it's a little bit off. Eh. How did I do that? Well, see, this one won't go on a cup then. I didn't think it would anyway because that part bubbled. But it's pretty close. So just for an example. And you know, worst comes to worst, it may not even stick down right away because sometimes they don't do that. Oh, but it did. <laughs> um, but you could always just recut the small. Um, somebody's driving by my house. That's my phone. It happens. I love my ring doorbell. And I, I am not endorsed by anybody. I'm not getting paid for any of these, but I have to tell you. I'm nosy, and when people are driving by my house a lot, especially when I'm at work, and I do go out of town sometimes, it's really nice to know that nobody's, like, coming indoors or robbing me. I, I don't know what they're going to rob, like, my cup turners. I, I would be really sad if they stole my cricket, but, you know. Okay, so, then, ta-da! Don't. Just ignore the bottom letters because they're not quite straight. But that was my own fault. It was a little bit off. And I should have double checked it. It's kind of going back to that whole, you know, measure twice and cut once thing. And so that's it. That's how you layer vinyl. You can do multiple layers. Um, uh, pictures, anything really you can just do that and just keep the very start at the bottom and work to the top obviously I don't think I should explain that to anybody I always feel like I over explain and I don't want anybody to think that I think everybody is stupid and I have to hold your hand through every step but anyhow I'm just rambling at this point so thank you for watching and I hope it helps if you have any questions again you can always just comment. I, I do try as much as I can to get on here and I know that I'm not super available all the time because I do, I do work a lot. <laughs> you have kids. They want things. 
Yeah, they should have told us that before we had them. Your children are going to take your whole paycheck. Anyway. Thanks, any... <laughs> thanks, anyway. You guys have a great few months until I put another video on. And... Yeah. That's it. Goodbye.